Hi guys, um, sorry it's been a while. I've been suffering from a really, really bad uh, ear infection for the past two weeks. But I'm back and I just want to share some of the things I've been up to with you guys uh, while I've been suffering from this bloody ear infection. I mean, first of all, my God, I think I have a problem when it comes to taking uh, medication because I just go OTT with everything. I mean, uh, the, the doctor prescribed me uh, codeine, cocodamol, 30 milligram codeine, 500 milligrams uh, paracetamol, and I went through like a whole box um, of 30 pills in two days, um, which is quite horrific. But to be honest, it's not distracted me from my schedule of making videos, it's just made it very difficult to actually get anything done. But I have been working with uh, Joe's a poet uh, on filming a few things uh, on his channel which I'll link in the description below and I have also uh, have decided that I'm going to be uh, making a documentary uh, on Z, uh, just his last sort of 13, 14 years uh, in the music industry. Uh, it's going to be fun to film that and obviously it's a new challenge for me uh, to go from sort of making vlogs and music videos for people to actually putting on a full scale documentary with the bells and whistles so um, I put a little snippet of that at the end of this video uh, and that's really going to do it this was really just sort of an update just to let you guys know that I'm still here uh, I'm still making videos uh, I'm not going anywhere it's just with the ear infection the copious amounts of prescription medication and just the fact that it's just been really busy in general I just haven't been able to sort of put anything together but that's all going to change uh, I've got a vlog coming up <coughs> vlog coming up this uh, weekend I've got a few things planned that I want to do so the vlogs will be back on the channel so uh, until then thanks uh, for watching and Merry Christmas well I know the first time that I actually made a record if we well, saying a record, it was just rapping because obviously I come from a background of grime and things like that. So I remember my stepbrother at the time, he was making music in his bedroom, doing rapping. He was pretty much very heavily influenced by just aggressive lyrics. It was all about uh, how much you could tear the other person apart with your lyrics. So I went in the room, I was like, what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm, I'm making a rap song, you should jump on it. So I was just like, all right, cool. So I wrote, well, we actually together wrote the worst lyrics I think I've ever written in my life <laughs> and put them down to this song. It was really out of time, <laughs> badly performed. But uh, ultimately, we enjoyed it. It gave me that sense of acceptance. It was almost like coming from my background as a child, it gave me a way to vent my frustrations and anger. So... I took from that day to then making my own music and eventually getting to this point now of going to these studios and stuff. But if we want to take it right back to the very start, we was using uh, the, like the cheapest audio equipment you could buy. We went to a place called Poundland and bought mini microphones out there. Um, and then people started telling us about uh, like mixers and things like that, which we thought were like a godsend. Whenever you got a mixer, you was like, oh, he's got a mixer, I need to go to his house.